Good morning, this is your AI host, Jay. I'm here with the automatically generated, Jernita, morning headlines on January 13, 2023. Turkey summons Swedish ambassador over Erdogan effigy. The Guardian, Turkey rages at incendiary video by Kurdish group in Sweden. Euronews, Sweden want host nuclear weapons bases after joining NATO. The Times, Turkey summons Swedish ambassador over Kurdish video. DW, English, Turkey summons Swedish envoy over heinous protest action. Putin scolds defense industry minister in televised meeting for fooling around. Czech presidential vote, all to play for after 10 years of Zeman. BBC, Czechs prepare to elect president after 10 years of Milos Zeman. The Guardian, Czechs start voting in the first round of presidential elections. Euronews, Czech election could be bellwether for populism. Gallup poll, Czech presidential election, what you need to know. Idaho murders, S. Brian Koberger seen with face cuts at hearing as next court date revealed. The Independent, Idaho murders, the case that has captivated and horrified the US. ITV News, Brian Koberger's attorneys waive right to speedy preliminary hearing. MSNBC, the eerie online world of the Idaho murders case. The Independent, Opinion, Idaho killings and criminology. Russia-Ukraine war live, small pockets of resistance, from Ukraine in Solidar, says Moscow installed official. The Guardian, Ukraine army hold drills near Belarus border, Russia versus Ukraine war update, English News Live. CNN News 18, Zelensky vows to give troops, everything, to defend critical Bakhmut and Solidar. France 24 English, Zelensky says Ukraine must be ready at Belarus border. Reuters, Russia-Ukraine war at a glance, what we know on day 324 of the invasion. Revealed, Exxon made, breathtakingly, accurate climate predictions in 1970s and 80s. The Guardian, ExxonMobil, oil giant predicted climate change in 1970s, scientists. BBC, ExxonMobil predicted climate change while downplaying risk, study. Al Jazeera English, new research reveals the extent of ExxonMobil's secret knowledge of climate change nearly 50 years ago. Channel 4 News, ExxonMobil accurately predicted warming since 1970s, study finds. KSI says Andrew Tate's top G style is cringy. Donald Trump proposed using a nuclear weapon against North Korea and blaming it on another country, book claims. Sky News, John Kelly was terrified by aspects of Trump, says Michael Schmidt. MSNBC, report, Donald Trump wanted to nuke North Korea and then blame it on another country. Vanity Fair, Trump discussed using nuclear weapon on North Korea and blaming it on someone else, book. Chimpanzee born at Chester Zoo offers real hope for world's rarest subspecies. The Guardian, Chester Zoo celebrates birth of world's rarest chimpanzee. BBC, world's rarest chimpanzee born at UK Zoo. Reuters, world's rarest chimpanzee species baby born at Chester Zoo, video. The Guardian, world's rarest chimpanzee born at Chester Zoo in conservation boost. The rise of the Wagner mercenary group, and what their success says about Putin's invasion of Ukraine. The Independent, who are the Wagner mercenary group being led by Putin's chef, BBC Newsnight. BBC News, why does Putin's chef want Ukraine Solidar so badly? Al Jazeera English, US Envoy says Russian Wagner Group's activities intolerable. The Independent, analyst says Wagner Group leader is acting as Russia's shadow defense minister. George Pell wrote memo calling papacy of Pope Francis, catastrophe. The Guardian, Cardinal Pell, no state funeral in Victoria due to victim distress. BBC, late Cardinal George Pell called Pope a catastrophe in anonymous memo. BBC, Opinion, Cardinal George Pell faced down a hostile world. Special counsel to look into Biden's handling of classified files. BBC, special counsel to investigate classified documents found in Biden former office and his garage. Channel 4 News, Joe Biden may have broken the Espionage Act. It's so broad that you may have, too. The Guardian, Explainer, Biden versus Trump. What is the difference between the two classified records cases? Ukraine News, live, 
Putin looking for scapegoats as Russian troops suffer weapons shortage. The independent, Ukraine war, Solidar devastation revealed in satellite images. BBC, Ukraine-Russia war, the impact of Wagner mercenaries in Solidar. Channel 4 News, hundreds of civilians trapped in Solidar, says Ukraine, as fierce fighting continues, video report. The Guardian, why does Solidar matter in the Russia-Ukraine conflict, BBC News. This was all for the news. Thanks for listening. Please do not forget to like and subscribe.